In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an on-call schedule that is a, a certain number of days apart. And so we have um, on the schedule, we have uh, 14 employees and we need two people on call every day. And so then, so what I've figured out that they need to be on call every seven days. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the schedule and you can see that there's two places that they need to be on call, two locations that they need to be on call for. And this is alternating. So they're call call one for the first one, the second location for the third, second and third, the third one is, so they're going back and forth. Now the totals at the end, they do three and two, um, and basically it's either three, three and two or two and two. So it works out pre pretty even. Now this, person unfortunately seems to be on call every Sunday or these two people are on call every Sunday for this month and this is August and so let's clear this and let's change this to September and now let's run the schedule again Oops. and now this person was on call every Sunday is on call every Wednesday which is um, a, a better choice or better luck in the draw. So let me show you how I did this. Um, my um, my sub is called um, on call, and I declare R and C as long, which stands for row and column. Uh, w C S is worksheet, and Z is a long number that I would use for counting the number of cells. And so now. The first thing I do is if I'm going to count and see if there's any um, any the call of uh, the call symbols in the cells, I have to make sure that I'm past um, past the area where um, where there is no, nothing there. So if there's names here and if, and if uh, I'm looking for C1 or C2, it's not going to be there. So I'm saying as long as it's eight. So as long as we've gone to the eighth row, then um, if it's greater than eight. If, or I'm sorry, if it's less than eight, Z equals C minus one. So it's, uh, it just, it counts back um, minus one of whatever, whatever column they're on. Else, it, we're going to say Z is equal to six, and Z is the number of days in between their on call. And so I go from um, row five, uh, row five to row 18 here, and then I select the cell, and then I say, is, is the cell empty, which is looking to see if there's not vacation or paid time off or something else there. And then what I'm doing is I am searching in the last, uh, in the range of the cells, um, I'm s searching it's just to count the number of C1s oh, and count the number of C2s. Now, if they both equal zero, then the active cell equals C1. Now, if C, uh, is greater than eight, so we'll make sure we're past the column. An active cell offset is minus seven is C1, then it's going to change it to C2. And so we do on the next, we do the same thing, but what I'm doing is I'm adding one to the row so it goes down to the next one and it does the same thing. It checks for um, if there's if there's anything in the last uh, in the last uh, number of rows or not six uh, six cells if C1 or C2 is in there and then if not then it's active and then it, it's checking to see whether the last number that was on the sheet is either C1 or C2 so make sure that it, it alternates between the two of them um, and so that is how I did this I will include the code in the description of my video please subscribe